What's up everybody, Ryan here. Today we're talking about product research tools that I personally use. Okay, so these are tools that I would use in my typical product research. It may not look like a complete list to some of you if you have been searching for product research tools, but to me it's pretty well complete just because I know how to make them all work together to benefit me and um, make me help me find my products a lot more efficiently and effectively. The first thing I want to start off with with is intelligence. Intelligence is a software that you can buy for almost two hundred dollars, just a little bit less than two hundred dollars. Um, it is it is very efficient, and it comes with two programs that can well three things that can help you. There they have an app, their website, and then there's also Ali Inspector. So Ali Inspector looks like this. Um, say for example, I want to search a keyword a keyword search, and say I'm okay. I know power lifting really well so let's go power lifting okay uh, belt all right so we find that and then minimum price I'll have it at zero I don't want to spend more than 20 bucks on a product and um, come here and order it by by orders because that's how you should be searching for products make it five pages uh, free shipping, single items only. So we hit search. Okay, so in the title, it'll probably have the name or have something related to it or something in its description. And you can come up here and you can sort it by a price. All right, by the price of plus e packet. Um, also, you can sort it by orders and reviews. And so it takes a little bit to load because it searches all of AliExpress. And so this search bar will, uh, this loading bar will probably fill up it'll probably take a few minutes so as I said there's also their website okay this is intelligence so say for example I want okay Facebook pixel yes um, let's see let's go K likes 1k I want a US dollar number one sellers price is free to say 100 bucks okay um, so then we would go to our lifting belt. All right. So, or let's do a more generic term. Okay, powerlifting. What it'll do is it'll pull up, you know, the things that they find. Now, the reason why I can only find two items is because I put up, you know, restrictions. So if I took this off and I took this off, no filter search, it would probably come or a larger list okay so you can narrow things down with this now if you're not wanting to spend that much money I'll show you the app version in a second it goes really well with these two which is the free way that you can look up on other people's sites oh yeah by the way with this you can look at people's websites look up people's websites do product research on Amazon and eBay and you can bookmark things okay and then so say for your I'm, I'm going pretty fast through these because I don't want to spend a lot of time. I'm just going through the list and then I will make videos specifically focused on uh, Ali Inspector, which has just finished loading. So what you can do is say you want to find, not spend the $200. Okay, you can come here. This is kind of a very basic way to do things, but all you have to do is cite myshopify.com and then enter your keyword. Okay, so for example, if I were to go to here, V, and then say um, yoga. All right. What it'll do is it'll pull up websites that are kind of related to it that are probably yoga as well that are created with Shopify stores. Okay. So for example, this looks like a Shopify store. Let's see if it doesn't look like it is just because my app hasn't popped up yet. Okay. Living yoga. So let's click on that. As you can see, their store has been open since October. This is Intelligence app. This is very useful. It tells you how long the store has been adding products. All right, their best sellers. All right, and then you have their apps that they use on their website, their social networks. All right, and their SEO, which can show you, okay, it's trending downward. Now, what you can also do is you could come down here, look up their Facebook. Uh, we're not talking about ads right now, so, but you can come down here and look at what they're advertising. Say, for example, you go to their Facebook, you can look at the ads that they're posting on their Facebook page. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now, though. Um, 
Anyways, another thing you can do is if you want to find their bestseller items without the app, you can just come here and type in collections slash all question mark sort underscore by equals best set best uh, dash selling and then you just come into the URL and paste it in there next to their URL. What it'll do is it'll come up with all of their best selling products by order so they sell this more than anything. This is the next thing they sell. They cannot avoid this no matter what it will be their best sellers. So for example if you were to uh, free, free load. If you were to come in here and you were to compare this list to intelligence, okay, their best selling products, okay, same things, okay, all right, so you know this is working, all right, you know that this is a, a really logical and best method to find the best, their best selling products, okay, so that's what you could do for programs and web searches and whatnot. The next thing is, is look at the suppliers, look at what they're selling. All right, this is product research, so it doesn't necessarily have to mean you're trying to find a product to advertise, but also products to fill your store. Say, for example, people go to your store, you don't want them to just buy one product, you want them to buy multiple products. So go to AliExpress, you know, let's go back to weightlifting, weightlifting, okay. All right, well, here's something I can add to my store, weightlifting gloves. All right, weightlifting gloves, gloves, all right, grip bands, okay, dipping belts, you know, things like that, powerlifting belt. All right, so go through and look at this. You can also look at, you know, what's at the bottom because it'll show you other search types if it'll load. All right, so you can try and do apparel as well and stuff. Um, if you are running out of ideas, though, because, you know, it's hard to find stuff on AliExpress sometimes, I feel like. Sometimes I'll be looking for a product for well, products for like three days and then I'll find something new and all of a sudden this new category just appears to me. All right. So another thing you could do is just go into their their actual store, the store that actually sells that product and look at what they have. All right. So this is an actual workout page. All right. So they probably have quite a few products. So, so top selling, let's click on that. All right. And then you can find all the products they have personally been selling. And if you love a supplier, trust me, come to their store, find their products and sell those because if you like their su supplier's shipping time, like say for example, I have a supplier that ships within two weeks. All right, that is phenomenal timing, by the way. Sometimes it's 20 days. Okay, if you like that seller, try and find as many products on their store as possible because they'll typically work with you really well. All right, say for example, though, you can't find any more products and you don't have any more product ideas. All right, you can also come to Etsy. Right? Etsy, Wish, Amazon, eBay, Watch Count. I'll go over that in the yellow. Watch Count is a little different than the other one, so I'll go over that. Okay, so but Etsy, say we do weightlifting in here. Right. All right, weightlifting. Um, so it'll come up with things like cups and glasses, t-shirts and whatnot, and you're like, oh, hey, that's cool. Well, it's just to give you ideas, clothing, accessories, all right, so you got keychains and whatnot. You can, now that you've gotten this idea, you can come back into AliExpress, type in weightlifting keychain, chains. And then it'll pull up a list of keychains, right? Maybe not weightlifting. Ah, oh, here we go. Weightlifting keychain. Now, that's another reason why AliExpress is not the best way to find products is because when you type in search terms, they'll throw in anything that's related to those particular products, all right? So, for example, keychain. It'll throw up everything that's keychain related and not include the powerlifting did here. So, coming to Etsy or Wish. Wish is another place you can come. So, eat, lift, yeah. All right, it'll also come up with a list of different types of uh, additional products. So, saw weightlifting gloves when I was searching it. But say, for example, you got these wristbands. Okay, now you have an idea for wristbands. 
come into here, you can come in, type in weightlifting wristbands, okay? You could do that with a wish and uh, Nello. Let's come over to watch count. All right, watch, watch count. I've actually found some products that I've actually sold. Um, it's right here. I've actually already looked at some stuff. So weightlifting, let's actually put a space in there. All right, show me. And then what will happen is once it loads, it'll pull up everything that people have been like watching in eBay. All right, people have used this for a while now, so it's not 100% effective, but um, it shows you how many people are actually interested in this particular product. So, for example, if you're selling weightlifting stuff, weightlifting gloves that are kind of like this, or you know, wristbands, you know, people are looking for those things. For example, you got these deadlifting slash pull up bar um, wristbands. Okay, you can look at things like that, then go into AliExpress and find those compression shorts, you know, just different things, kind of get ideas, deadlift straps. Okay, so those are different suppliers methods that you can use to find products to fill your store. Probably not the most efficient way to find best selling products. I would stick around in the programs and the website searches because, you know, if your competition's selling them successfully, you definitely do too, especially if you. All right, you can use social media as well, Facebook search. I'm not going to go much into detail with that. That's not a very effective way. It's only effective if you're trying to find ads or, you know, t-shirt ideas. But that's the most, if, those are the tools I use specifically when I'm doing product research. Um, I will make videos specifically focused on different search methods such as Ali Inspector, okay? I will... Go into depth about how to use Ali Inspector. I will go into depth about how to use, um, you know, Watch Count I will, and all these other websites to kind of find programs. I will use Intelligence. I will show you the apps and show you um, how to go into depth on how to find products using these particular methods that I use. I just wanted to do an introduction tutorial on uh, what I use specifically when I'm doing product research. So that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or a comment or feel like I can add something else into this list or I feel like I've forgotten something or you want a video request, please leave a comment. I will get to it as soon as I can. Video requests are number one on my priority, priority list. So if you leave a request, I will get to that probably within a day or two. Anyways, that's all I got for you. I will see you tomorrow in the next video.